I was teaching my GCSE students the other day and we were looking at inequalities that have between statements. And I was really uh, driving home, when do we need to split the inequality? Because students were saying initially, oh yeah, you do this separately and you do this one separately and you solve them separately. But you don't always need to do that, especially for something like this. But how do you know? All you need to do, guys, is cover up one side and say, all right, this is 3x minus 5 is greater than 2. How would you solve that? You would add 5 and divide by 3. Then you cover this side and say, all right, how would you solve this side? You also add 5 and divide by 3. If it's the same on both sides, guys, you can keep it the same in this form and just add 5 and divide by 3. You don't need to do it separately. So that goes, we're left with 3x is between... That plus 5 is 18, and that plus 5 is 7. Let me just divide everything by 3. So we get 7 thirds, x, 6. And it's really that simple. So say this video is part of your inequalities revision, head to myspace.co.uk if you need more help with your GCSEs, and head to Neil Does Maths on YouTube for more crazy GCSE questions. Nice.